Welcome to Biomass Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Noderman. And Viva is taking action to acquire and develop additional pellet production facilities. The company recently announced that a subsidiary of Enviva Holdings LP has entered into a new joint venture with affiliates of the John Hancock Life Insurance Co. to acquire, develop, and construct wood pellet plants and deep water marine terminals in the southeastern U.S. The new joint venture has already agreed to acquire an existing pellet plant located in Greenwood, South Carolina from Navigator Co. SA, a Portuguese paper and pulp company. The Greenwood plant began operations in October of 2016. The transaction is expected to close during the first half of 2018. And Viva also noted the joint venture is expected to develop a deep water marine terminal at the port of Pascagoula, Mississippi, and at least two additional wood pellet plants. Also in the wood pellet space, Rentec has filed for bankruptcy and sold off the bulk of its assets, including its Atacocan, Ontario pellet plant, and U.S. wood pellet business New England Wood Pellet. A notice filed by Rentec lists Lignetics and New England Inc. as the buyer of New England Wood Pellet. Under the asset purchase agreement, Lignetics has agreed to acquire substantially all the assets of the division and assume certain specified liabilities of Rentec for a purchase price of $35 million. Following the purchase of New England Wood Pellet, Lignetics will own and operate 12 pellet plants. Rentex Atacocan facility is expected to be purchased by Ontario Inc., an affiliate of True North Timber, for approximately $3.2 million. In Brazil, President Michael Temer has approved legislation creating Renova Bio, a new national biofuels policy. The law was published in the official Federal Gazette of Brazil on December 26th. Renova Bio aims to increase the use of all biofuels, including ethanol, biodiesel, and renewable methane, in an effort to increase energy security and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Renova Bio provides for the establishment of national emissions reductions targets, which fuel distributors must meet annually. The program also creates a system to certify biofuels and creates decarbonization credits that reflect emissions reduction targets and the life cycle assessment of each biofuel producer. The credits are described as a financial asset that can be traded on a stock exchange. The credits will be issued by the biofuel producer following sale of their product. Fuel distributors will meet required targets by acquiring the credits. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the Biomass Industries Top Stories.